Hello, it's Simon Sutton George from the Tenerife Property Group. Today we're in Tehoko and we're going to look at an absolutely fabulous house. Um, it's actually the shape of an octagon and uh, the owners have called it Casa Ocho. Ocho stands for or means eight in Spanish and um, it's been really hand hand built and I'll explain a bit about that when we're going around. Uh, so as I say, we're in Tehoko, absolutely fabulous day. Let's have a look at this great house. So we're going to start here on the outside and go through, go through the gate and into a nice, very quiet area. Let's just shut this gate. Really nice, quiet area. Look at the house here from here. That is really something. I'll explain a bit more about that as we go around. There's a nice shady area here well planted garden on the entrance just got a couple of steps here so this is where you'd do a bit of sunbathing in the morning I won't show you up there yet I'll leave that till last a couple of steps down here and then we've got massive garage that's here with electric gates so it's a double garage straight in so you can fit two normal sized cars in there and again this is made with these great big beams and so on and so forth so let's go into the house itself and have a look so we've got aluminium aluminium frame windows and uh, in fact you can probably see, you know, hopefully you can see the blue tinge on there so that's uh, protecting the house from the sun so we just step in here and have a look, so it's a two story house and you've got these nice stairs and this superb column here with that amazing sort of fixtures there great design so it's a nice open open house so we're just going to here the first door here on the left so effectively what we've done is we've come in through the main door here and we've turned left so in here we've got a utility room that's a 300 litre water heater um, solar powered as well just over here on the right hand side just a small understairs cupboard just a bit full of things but that's just a storage room this side here got a toilet shower now this is for um, and a hand basin there so this particular bathroom is for the use of not that bedroom but this bedroom this bedroom is currently being used as an office Okay, all of these, all of these wooden beams are a great feature throughout the house, which you'll see a little bit later. Got a double wardrobe there as well. There's a door straight out to the swimming pool, which we'll see a bit later. And walking through here into this fabulous room, with its own ensuite shower toilet I mean the standard of the workmanship is awesome the design of the house is absolutely fantastic I mean look at that view and you haven't even seen it yet but there's a great view out there out onto the pool so that's the downstairs so there's two double bedrooms here with French windows that lead out onto Come on then, let's have a look. We'll go outside into the pool area. So this is where you'll get sun in the afternoon. So behind that shower there, you've got the uh, the garage. There's the solar panels up there. Look at this here, the woodwork. The work that's gone into making this house is something else. Quiet as you like up here as well. So there's the swimming pool. You've got some 
some fabulous views down there, out across to Lago Mera, down to Los Gigantes. Now here's something, we've got a nice dining area here, outside dining area, and a small sort of kitchenette there. These are the doors here that would go into the bedroom that's being used as an office. That's how we would we can get round to the uh, to the main entrance where we just came in. And then you've got a good sized garden down here as well. Nice palm trees here. And they set up a nice table and chairs there. So there's plenty of shade if you want it. But as you can see now, plenty of space to sunbathe. It's all set to pecan as well, so there's hardly any hardly any real work to do. The pecan stone is the small volcanic. Well, there's Lagomera down there. So the sun sets at Lagomera as well, as you probably know. So you can have absolutely fantastic, absolutely fantastic um, sunsets. And you can see up to the mountains up here as well. Now clearly when we go upstairs, which is the main living area, the views are even more fantastic. That's a satellite dish there that, that uh, they can re... Uh, well, it's quite easy to get to get going again if you need to. Just as a a little aside, that crane there is apparently the largest in Spain. It may even be the largest in Europe. They're just finishing off the motorway over there. The garden's got some fruit trees in it. Um, three lemon trees, uh, grapefruit down there. This, I think he said, was um, Satsuma or uh, one of the others type, orangey type plants anyway. Uh, there's a plum tree there couple of apple trees so really really great this is that nice area here shaded area we've got the trees and we've got the house behind through there so let's go and have a look at the upstairs <laughs> 